Hello, this is Invimodo coming again with another episode. When you build is a DIY monitor screen. What we do nowadays, we just grab laptops and we take the battery and we dump this thing out. But today is not about this battery. We have already used this battery and we are already throwing this away. But when you throw it away, it end up on our landfills, right? So let's stop doing it. What we're going to do today, take out the screen of this laptop. When we take out the screen, we're gonna turn it to an extendable monitor, as you see right here, guys. This is an extendable monitor that we just made a build. So I'm going to show you guys how to do the same thing. These laptops, when they came out, they were so cute, but due to the advance of technology, nobody care about these things anymore. But they're good. They are so much good, we can use it for our DIY projects. When you are so used to working in the office with two screens, right? When you come back home and you have to work with one laptop, it's so small, you are like, no, I need something bigger. And what people do is they go out and buy an extendable monitor for a desktop and they'll put it like close to each one another, it's so big and the laptop is so small, so it just becomes something that they can handle. But today I'm going to show you how to take your old laptop that you're about to throw into a landfill that will just cause pollution. That is not what we actually want. We're gonna turn the laptop into an extendable screen for you to use it on your laptop just as you see right here. Let's do it. Hello YouTubers, now we have our monitor that we recycle from our old laptop. When you recycle this monitor, go ahead and check it out if it has any defect, any cracks, and uh, it's actually flexible. Now we're gonna also see the model number of this um, screen. Now we'll take this model number as you see here, and we will head over to eBay. The only thing we need to do is uh, write down the model number that we just got from uh, our monitor which is LTN156AT01. Give a space and we got the right control board. Then give a space, I would like to write uh, HDMI, which that's what I actually need. I need a port two for HDMI. Press enter and all these will come out so be very careful about the prices because so many people what they do is they create their own links they get the same product and they resell it for high price so just go ahead and uh, look the best price you can get i already know what i actually want actually this is what i want to buy so i already know it's about 25 bucks so i just need to buy this board right here and wait until it arrives in my house now is the time to build a frame for our screen i choose this plywood just because i had it at home it is too big for the work i have to do but if you want to make your build make sure you choose a thinner board so you should not have too much weight before we start the framework let's go ahead and check the board that just came in from ebay and see if it actually fit great this is the time to make sure that uh, the board is actually a great fit that you actually make a good purchase before you start doing your framework right now let's uh, actually go and mark the holes we have to create some holes so that the wires should go behind the board since you have to screw the board behind the plywood after you create it make sure you mark some holes on the board there are already holes on the board so just mark it straight to the plywood so you can create these holes to be able to um, uh, mount your board also make sure you create these bezel lines around the holes inside so that's where you're gonna mount your bowl so that they should not touch the screen and uh, right now is just the right time to go and put your screen back there to see if the holes that you created are actually working great now they work great now you just need to create a bezel for your laptop monitor so it should not run left to right 
after you see that everything was great this is the time to go and apply your glue i don't want to use nails on these things because it's actually fragile and there's no need using nails on it because it's something that you never actually take it off so we just go ahead and apply our glue when it is actually ready to be um, glued to the board just go ahead and turn it clean out the excess glue that you have on the corners when you are clean out just turn your board on the table when you turn your board on the table so you can press it down just use an extra weight now i use batteries just because i have those batteries and uh, it press it down now we have our bezel on our framework being created it looks nice and the bezels around the holes are actually great because when you put in the screws you just make sure that the screws do not touch the monitor and that will be a perfect job that you just did right there that is excellent hey guys if you have hung out up till now watching my video that means that you believe in me or there's something in this video that inspire you can you give me some thumbs up on this video or click on the subscribe button if you haven't done so also enable that bell close to your subscribe button so that anytime i upload a video you will be the first person to watch please i enjoy reading comments don't forget to leave your comment down there so i can actually take a read and i will get back to you as soon as possible I just pick up this wrap in our local hardware store you're gonna use it to wrap the frame so it should look nice and clean after you wrap it up you go ahead and also wrap up the bezel the bezel is the one that's really going to make this thing look neat make some holes throughout the wrap so that you can be able to put in the screws you see the screws just fit into the bezel that we created in order for it not to touch the screen now is the time to go and fit the board that we did and uh, that we got from ebay make sure all your washers are plastic and uh, when working with all these electronics the best washers you want to go with go with the plastic washers which are great for that job and uh, here the your board is mounted to your frame directly on the back this is the time now to go and see if our screen actually fit into our monitor and that is it that is how it fit and it fit great there's no mistake but just go ahead and make a quality control check make sure everything's fitted great and the wires are all connected use the bezel that we just made and apply into it after putting the bezel just make sure that it's seated right and just go ahead and make another quality control go ahead right now and make a cover for your electronics behind the board that's what i did and the cover was ready and now we just need to fit it in i decided that four screws are enough to hold this thing down in future i will have to take the board off in order to create a battery pack fit directly behind it so that i can be able to power this thing without using any power cores it has to be wireless powered and i'll be turning this thing into a tv as well guys now is the time to see this thing directly functioning voila guys see that you have a bigger space to work with your laptop right now transferring files to another screen so you can actually work great it also has a great image you can watch a movie in this thing and you are like i'm in a movie theater right here this thing look great and fantastic now you have a beautiful beautiful place to work what amazed me guys is just the way the screen look on the table when you put it close to your laptop it looked like twin brothers like right there it's beautiful it's clean and it looks like a piece of fabric being produced in inside the factory while I, I did this inside my room and you when you look at it at first you're like wow this is something that you can make yourself and be able to just blow your friend's mind put it in your corridor on the wall just stream your movie 
into it and when your friends step into the house they they're like hey dude hey man you mean business in this place this thing looks great and it looks fantastic it works it's just so clean and uh, i am so addicted to it right now since i made it hey make sure you hit that bell and enable it so that next time when i upload a video you watch it please follow me up on this channel as soon as possible the next episode is very very important we're gonna turn this screen into a tv so you can just stream your movies with your cell phone into this screen and just watch it have you ever been in the situation in the office which you really want to watch a movie and you can't do it because you can't plug your cell phone into the computers you can do that hey stay tuned on this video you're gonna be able to make a screen like this by yourself turn into a tv and be already watching movies in the office on your lunch time hit that subscribe button and we are gonna work hard on this video to make sure and make you happy stay tuned and look forward for the next episode you thank you give the thumbs up leave the comment hit that support link and support me throughout my projects thank you